Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to Crochet Digest, Season 1, Episode 3. Today is just a little nutshell of what is going on in the yarnery and the after party this week. Starting off with kids, always family first. Half of my kids, my teenagers, are on midterm break. So they're home this week enjoying sleeping in. My younger two are still in classes, so they are busy with that. Although they had a really, really, really great class on Monday. Guess what they had to do? Take $10 and go shopping to do math. I was like, what? That is genius. Like I would go to school if that's what it was. How fun. So they loved it. It was really, really fun for them. Of course they bought candy, but who wouldn't? They are 10 and 10 right now. One birthday is coming up, end of October, but I'll tell you more about that next week. The weather was scorching hot, like definitely 30 degrees, and then we had a couple days of rain. It was amazing. So just a nice solid steady sprinkle, not, a, not the downpours we usually have, just a nice solid like a Vancouver rain, like a serious Vancouver rain, not a misting bottle, but a serious Vancouver rain. It was great, so that cooled things off a little bit. Still not much of a breeze, but at least we are not burning hot. Speaking of the weather, you might see this on Friday. You know our lovely patio out there where we hang out for some live chats. I have this great idea to get it screened so the door can be open and there can be a nice breeze coming in from into the yarnery. So that is getting screened and might be done by the time we do our live on Friday. I guess I should just do the live on Friday now, right? <laughs> We're already talking about it. It is gonna be over on the other channel, the after party. So I'm not putting in a whole bunch of effort to find a bunch of crochet stuff to talk about. We are literally just gonna hang out, get caught up on what you're doing, what I'm doing, who's hooking on what, who's snacking on what, what shows we're watching. Just a super relaxed chat. Now to see that, at the end of this video, you just stay put and it'll automatically redirect you to the after party to that specific live chat that's coming up. And you just click set a reminder. And then on Friday, same time as our usual live chat, you'll get a reminder and you pop on over to the after party. Finished object. You remember the yarn I was using last week in the last digest. I think digest is a pretty good name. What do you think about that? If you have a better idea, also let me know in the comments. Nothing is set in stone, but it is doo -doo -doo -doo. Boom! It is a pumpkin granny square, and of course it's me, so it's a little bit 3D. I love a good 3D granny. Isn't that great? So this beauty is coming out both right and left-handed tutorials on Saturday, so you have plenty of time to work on it over the weekend. Any yarn, any hook, whatever hook goes with the yarn. I want to say I used a six millimeter for mine, and just three different colors of yarn. It would also look really great with black. Like instead of the beige, it could be black. That would also be really fun. Now I am holding my tails on the other side because the one I sewed the tails in went to go get photographed. I don't know where it is. So I know you'll forgive me for having a spare with the ends not sewn in, but I do have the tails sewn in on one. So it's just not here right now, of course. So this granny square has a gorgeous textured pumpkin. So it's not just flat circles. It really does have like that knobbly texture of a real pumpkin. And it is just four rows. So the center, your clusters, a row of single crochets, and then you turn it into a square. So super easy and works out to be a true pumpkin and a true square. Love it. What would you do with crochet pumpkin granny squares? bag, pillowcase. What about a candy bag for trick-or-treating? Hmm, that would be so cute. <laughs> now let's talk after party videos. There is a lot available to you this week over on my other channel. So that channel is not about crochet, it is just about cool stuff that's going on in my life in Nairobi or has gone on. There's a whole bunch of footage I have that we are finally getting around to putting up as videos. So this week we have how I converted a chicken incubator to incubate Marvin's tortoise eggs. 
So that is a little video out. And there's also one for actually being inside the incubator. I put a GoPro in there on time lapse for a few days while the tortoises were hatching. And then I just go and you could see it, if you looked in the window, you could see the light was still flashing. That means it had a battery. And then if you check and the, there's no flashing light, you have to change the battery. So it's not like a total professional thing. When I, when I saw the battery wasn't there, I changed the battery and keep filming it. But it is so so amazing to actually be inside the incubator while leopard tortoises hatch. It is amazing. And to see how like social they are, it is really, really sweet. So those are all available over on the after party. And instead of a crochet video this weekend, I'm gonna put up a video also on the after party on Sunday. So our usual Sunday time, but on the after party. And that is me and the kids going to the coast for a holiday. So we did that I think in August of this year and it was really, really fun. So we have a video coming up. So it was really, really fun and you can come with us all the way to Wachamu. So that is coming out on Sunday if you wanna hang out. Now, yarn of the week. Do you know what yarn this is? Do you recognize it? It is a gorgeous yarn from Ice Yarns. It is fantastic. I love it. It is a four worsted weight. Check out the colors. Super soft, super squish. It is called Magic Spray. It is 100 grams, 185 meters. And you can use, they suggest a five or six millimeter knitting needle, which means you can use a six or seven millimeter crochet hook. So for ice yarns, I usually go up one hook size from whatever they say for a knitting needle, I go up one size for a hook. So you can use a six to seven millimeter crochet hook with this. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna go with. I haven't totally decided yet, but that is yarn of the week. And if you have an idea or suggestion what I should make with it, let me know in the comments. Isn't that the cutest? Other news of the week, I have, well, my husband actually, I'm like, honey, I need a new phone. And he's like, why do you need a new phone? Number one, I don't answer my phone. I don't know where my phone is. If you're on WhatsApp with me, you'll, it's a miracle when I find my phone. So, <laughs> so he's like, why do you need a new phone? Like you don't even use one. And I'm like, I need it to take pictures. And he's like, don't you have a camera, like a good one? And I'm like, yeah, but I don't know how to use it. So it's, I need a phone where you can just go click and take a picture and have that cute blurry background. Like I need more auto, I need automation, an automated camera. Like a mobile phone that takes pictures. Sounds perfect to me. He's like, why don't you call the company that you bought the camera from and hire somebody to teach you how to use the camera? Ding! I'm like, what? Now I've had this camera for like six months or something, like a long time. And I've pretty much, like I can use it. Not properly. I mean, I literally limp around on it, but I'm like, that would be a, you like, what? Anyway, he hung up on me, called the camera company and they're like, yeah, hmm? it's this much per hour, it's two hour classes. They'll come home, they'll teach you how to do whatever you want to do. The guy calls, he's like, what do you need to do with your camera? Like, do you want to do photography? Do you want to do videography? I'm like, I already do videography, hmm? but I don't do it like, I don't use my camera. Apparently he can do a bunch of stuff. I don't know. Anyway, he came over today, so you might notice it looks, I don't know, does it look better? Better or worse? It's like an eye test. Better or worse? One or two? I don't know. But it looked a lot better just looking in the little tiny screen. Anyway, he is sorting out a lot of issues for me. Not issues, but like things that I think, being the person I am, I could do better. So he is going to be coming over a couple more times to get me super hooked up because one of my life goals is to film tutorials on a natural wood surface without reflection and stuff like that and be able to put flowers or petals or you know whatever you want. You can make it look pretty. I can't do that with this camera right now. I have no idea. So that's a goal. I'm totally into it, super excited. So step by step, that is what I'm up to this week. Also why I am not filming a, like a proper talking video, like inspiration for Sunday. Side note also, I woke up this morning. See, now we're really getting into it, right? Woke up this morning and I thought, I'm like tired. Like, you know, you go downstairs, you come back up, your legs are sore, you're kind of winded. I'm like, what? Like, did I not sleep last night? And I did toss and turn. It was like burning hot. I had the door open, I had the fans on. 
and I went from like burning hot to freezing cold. Burning hot, freezing cold, burning hot, freezing cold. I have to turn the fans on, it's getting hot in here. It got down to 23 degrees in here last night. I was cold. Can you imagine? I'm so weak. So weak. I think that might have been what happened. I've lived in Kenya long enough to get a chill. Hmm? Can you imagine getting sick from 22 degrees? 23, 23.2. What? Let me check what, t what temperature it is in here right now. 25.7. That's not bad. Anyway, this morning I'm like exhausted. I have two cups of coffee complete, like down to the bottom of it, which I usually only have one. I'm still dragging my butt. Like I literally sat on the stairs and waited for the kids to get ready for school, thinking that's a central area and I could yell from there. <laughs> right? Well then time progresses a little bit and I'm like, does my skin hurt? Does my back hurt? Am I getting sick? What? I might be. So ran, grabbed the camera, do a quick little update, a little, what are we calling it? Cro Krista's Crochet Digest, something like that, just to tell you what's going on. And then I'm gonna hop into bed with the fan <laughs> on and I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna take it easy. I am crocheting on a bunch of stuff. I am starting this beauty right here. So I am really, really excited about all of that, but I'm also just not gonna be filming a video this week. So, cause I'm like, I could do it tomorrow morning. Then I'm like, what if I feel worse? <laughs> I'm like, maybe work on getting your camera stuff sorted out. The homework the guy's given me, get all your homework done, rest up, crochet, be with the kids who are home from school and jump back on the bus next week. So that's what I'm gonna do, a little bit of self-care, a little bit of crochet as therapy instead of crochet as work. Although if you had to have a job, good Lord, there is nothing better than crochet. Makes me so happy. Like I love, I even feel bad calling it work. It's like, I feel bad. It's like calling you like a subscriber. Like, hey subscriber, no, like we're friends. Like that's my friend, right? Like I sent, it, I emailed Karen the other day. I'm like, Karen, hmm, I'm watching the show. Parker's doing this right? Because we've been together for so long. And if you don't feel like you're a part of all that, just pop into the comments or join a live chat and comment there a couple times so we can get to know you because we are a very welcoming community, not subscribers. Let me be clear. We're definitely friends. So that's how I feel about it. And I know that my friends would also want me to like relax. So I'm not going to relax, but <laughs> I'm not going to be putting on the mascara and enunciating my words. I'm just gonna be going around with my staple gun and a drill and you know all my handy stuff probably gonna trash my nails actually nails by the way they're dirty so you can't judge the dirt but it's well-earned dirt look at that all the way to the top if you don't know I tried what were they like gel manicures I did a gel manicure. I loved it. Turns out it like totally erodes your own natural nail to the point of them not working. Like you can't pick a sticker off of a vase. You're like, oh, now what do I, how do I get a sticker off? Gotta use a knife or something. Like your fingers don't work. So stop doing that. Got a whole bunch of like nail product like to strengthen my nails again. Found Sally Hansen's tough as nails. Thank you. Where's that? Works like a treat. Nails are back back enough to be dirty. So I'm super happy about that. Anyway, that is what is going on this week in the yarnery and this weekend all around here and the after party. And there will be a live chat, of course, unless I'm super under the weather or can't speak, but I'll put up a post and we'll just change the time of that live chat. So still stay tuned, still click the link and it will take you to the live stream and the live stream time will be hopefully Friday. If not, it'll be the first day that I can speak. So have a super great day and stay hooked.